What's happening YouTube your boy Tech Tricks back in another video and today we're going to show you the difference between the copper HDMI cables and fiber optic HDMI cables. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can notify the next videos to come up tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out much below at 1130.ca. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox the Ruby Pro 8K Fiber Optic Cable. Basically, this is an HDMI cable, a little bit more expensive than your normal copper cables, but we're going to show you today and test it out if it's even worth getting it. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Here we go. Oh yeah. So this is an HDMI 2.1, it says here. It supports HDR, HDR10, and Dolby Vision. It also has 48 gigabit per second bandwidth. Today we can only test it for 40 gigabytes per second, but that's okay. It also supports Ultra HD 8K, 60 hertz. For those of you who has PS5, this can work as well for 4K, 120 hertz. This also can support uh, uncompressed 5.1, 7.1, Dolby Atmos. This also has supports for 100 meters and long distance with zero signal loss. You can also order on their website. I'll link everything down in the description below. But basically, you can order any length that you want for the usage that you need. So that's pretty good. I like how they, they can customize the cuts and the length that you want for the HDMI cable. And they'll do everything for you. So go ahead and check them out in the link down in the description below. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Uh, literature right there. It says here you have to pay attention because it has a source and display. So make sure you use the mark that says source to the source side and then the display obviously on the display side. So this also comes with a 5 volt USB power adapter. Basically it says that if there's no image being displayed, you should be able to use this and it should work. So basically you would put the source or the display side right there. Then you just put this on a USB just to power it up. There you go. So we have two different uh, HDMI cables here. One that you get usually for like PS5. This cable, the 6 foot cable is what usually you get on PS5s and uh, different consoles. So as you can see the cables right here. Five optic is skinnier than the copper version good comparison right there it, this is also a lot flexible on the fiber optic side which can fit on most areas and it won't really kink that well versus like the copper it's it's very thick and it's hard to it's hard to bend so rooting this on different spots maybe in the wall or something like that it's not a good idea as you can see Ruby Pro also has a blue tip on their HDMI heads display side and source side and then the head from the Rui Pro HDMI cable is also slimmer and just looks better than the copper cable you can also use the mesh to cover up the head of the HDMI cable right there and one of the best features from Rui Pro is also the long range capabilities of the cables if you're running this up to 100 meters you won't lose any signal from your source to your display for copper cables uh, good luck doing that it's not gonna happen it'll definitely lose signal on long range scenarios Let's look at the tips now. As you can see here, up here, this has just a normal black tip right there. This has the blue one. As you can see here, the overall design on the Ruby Pro fiber optic versus the normal uh, copper cable right here. Quite a big difference. Personally, I would think that the Ruby Pro some sort of a better quality versus the copper cable in the long run. Now let's go ahead and do the tests. Here we're gonna be using the Marantz receiver. You can use any receiver that has this kind of HDMI diagnostic tests. On the back, I just hooked up the HDMI in to HDMI out. This way it'll send signal to itself. After that, we're gonna select cable test and then we'll hit start. So I ran this test for about uh, five times and it actually passed all the time so it's pretty good so as you could see it passes everything up to the 40 gigabyte per second it's not the 48 the full 48 capability of the cable but this gives you an, a bit of an idea that it is capable of uh, 40 gigabytes per second now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of the copper cable and the fiber optic from Rio Pro and let's see if there's a big difference in real life scenario or when you are watching a movie. Let me know in the comments below if you could see the difference between the two of them. Right now we have it uh, split into two. Let me know in the comments below which one is fiber and which one is copper. 
Here are the answers. So did you guess correctly? Let's be honest with ourselves. You can't really tell the difference between the copper and the fiber cables. But for different scenarios, the Ruby Pro 8K is a much better choice, especially for the long range area, especially if you want to get the best quality out of your content. And thanks for watching everyone. I hope I was able to help you on your choice on the HDMI and Ruby Pro 8K fiber optic HDMI cable. If I was able to help you, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell as well so you can notify when the next video is to come. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below as well. So go ahead and check that out. You might even get a discount. Make sure to hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.